So here, the HDMI booth, you're talking about Type-C to HDMI. Um, so what's going on here? Hi, my name is Jeff Park. I am the Director of Technology at HDMI Licensing Administrator. We're the creators of HDMI technology, and we release and work on the specification. And one of the re most recent uh, specification we have released is what's called HDMI over USB Type-C. So HDMI over USB Type-C, as you can see from the cable here, allows Type-C devices to natively output HDMI signals directly to an HDMI connector that can connect to any existing uh, HDMI display, whether it be a monitor, TV, or uh, other display devices such as projectors, uh, without any modification. So All existing products can support. There's already some cables out there? Yes. So, so some of these like are, this? Some of these cables that here you see here are prototypes that are, are adopters or manufacturers that are producing cables or working on and they'll soon be out on the market as you will see uh, source devices that support HDMI over USB Type-C. Here's some prototypes? Yes. So here we're showing a couple prototypes here. The first one is a, a PC uh, tablet two-in-one type of device where it has a, a USB Type-C uh, output connecting directly to a uh, HDMI monitor. Again, this monitor is nothing special. Just it's any. off the shelf. We just bought it at the store. Uh, this. The advantage is that these, this HDMI over USB Type-C does not require a converter. So what that means is the output that's coming from Type-C with this specification is native, and therefore no converter, uh, no adapters, or anything like that's been going on. It's a native signal. But you still have something a little bit big here. So this one is just a size. So if you can see, oh, excuse me. Oh, yeah. So if you can see here, this connector is much smaller. So oh, yeah? it's just by design. Certain manufacturers have different design philosophies. Uh, but and, and this Does, uses the same... It doesn't convert anything. No, only it does is messaging. What that is is using the protocol defined by USB Type-C, what's called alternate mode. So alternate mode uses USB uh, PD power delivery protocols. So power delivery protocol is just a protocol to message with the Type-C devices to indicate which mode to enter because there's multiple alternate modes. So one is HDMI alternate mode. That's just a small uh, message. It's yeah, not it's a microcontroller, very small, very low cost. Microcontroller. Yeah, there's, and then the HDMI and the video audio signals are not converted, again, natively from the Type-C connector to the HDMI portion. So all the high speed, all the high uh, video and audio data goes directly from the source device all the way to the taste. And this, in theory, could also power uh, like a camera. For example, this camera. Yes. Uh, usually cameras have uh, HDMI, mini HDMI, and USB, and all kinds of stuff. But you could take all this away and just do everything over one Type-C port. Yes. And this is showing an example of a prototype. Where, as you can see here, uh, there's no other connector. There's only one connector that's outputting, again, to an HDMI display here. And it's charging the camera. And at the same time, you can see by the charging light here, the red light yeah. indicates that it's also charging. So you, so, you modified the cable to so do that? So how this is done is, as you can see, again, this TV is nothing special. It's a regular yeah. HDMI TV. Many have USB. Yeah. And what we did was have a, a prototype cable, which has a, a micro USB input for power. You plug that into the TV. And that same cable now sends power back to the camcorder or the source device. At the same time, with the exact same cable, the camcorder now can output the high quality video up to 4K to the display. Additionally, I can use the remote control using what's called HDMI CEC. That allows you to have full control over the uh, unit. So this is a TV remote. The TV remote is now controlling the camcorder and the source device. So now I have full control over the menu system, and I can play, pause, rewind, everything. That's a standard way of communicating over HDMI. Yes, uh, HDMI CEC. That's called Consumer Electronics Control. It's a standard that's available on many displays, uh, many HDMI devices to be able to control all devices with a single remote. So you can just take one remote that you may have for your TV or maybe your Blu-ray player or your set-top box, cable box, and that single remote can control everything. And that is also supported over USB Type-C. HDMI over USB Type-C, uh, that's going to be available very soon. A lot of manufacturers, as you can see, prototypes here, are working on incorporating this technology into their products. And cables are already ready. Uh, you'll soon see cables also come out as more devices take advantage of this new technology. Is it possible that all these cables might be able to send the power back if the device supports it? It depends Is on the manufacturer. The manufacturer will have to design it to be able to send power back to the USB Type-C. Usually, usually through a USB plug, but how about some HDMI cables that could send power? It depends, it, on, again, it depends on the manufacturer's uh, design. Uh, that's really up to them. Because again, we designed the specification and released the specification. And long as they meet all the testing requirements, how it's exactly designed is really up to them.
could it be backwards compatible with the MHL standard? That the MHL, again, is a completely different standard, yeah. so you uh, have to discuss with them about their technology. We're only here to talk about HTML over USB Type-C. And uh, um, so that means the docs, uh, if, if I have a phone that has a Type-C yeah. and supports this, uh, the doc could be more simple because you don't need to convert correct. this display port to HDMI. Yes, correct, correct. It's so, just native. Yes, so it's all native, and the, the advantage is it, it simplifies things. Also, the cable itself is, will be lower cost because, again, you have less components. You don't have a requirement for a converter inside the uh, cable. And traditionally, if you have a full converter here, you would need some sort of external power because you're doing full conversion, or it would draw the power from the source device and drain any battery power devices as well. So, um, because everybody has HDMI displays on their displays, uh, yes. TVs, it's just HDMI. Yeah. Not so many people have DisplayPort. Yes. Uh, but now it's the the, the 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 trick is to get all this into the phones, right? So right now, no phones are shipping with this. Not with this. Again, this is very new. Very new. Uh, so it, it takes time to uh, develop. It's been out maybe uh, a little over six months. So it takes a, lo a little longer to be able to develop uh, such products. So, but again, as you can see here, we already have prototypes, so it's not difficult to design. Uh, so we, we expect manufacturers to uh, have products ready uh, fairly soon. Again. All these devices, for example, they all, most of them, many of them have HDMI already yes. on their, they already support that in their chipsets and everything. Yeah, exactly. So exactly. that's just rerouting. Yeah, so again, the advantage here is that this is sending native signals. We're not converting anything, we're not uh, transcoding or, or anything like that. You so don't need a new chip. No. As long so, as you support HDMI, yeah, you can so reroute. The, if the device supports HDMI, it's not that difficult to be able to add a Type-C uh, HDMI alternate mode. Uh, feature to their product because Type-C has the advantage of very small form factor. So you can replace both your power cable and uh, data cable plus now video using HDMI. And the advantage again is that all the billions of products already out in the market that exist today for HDMI. Almost everything you want to connect to converts back to HDMI anyway. So this removes another burden for the consumers to not have to buy another converter or adapter to connect to their existing uh, HDMI products. But uh, the, the, the dream kind of is that uh, on smartphones, this would be integrated on the SOC, so they don't need a separate chipset to do HDMI. Yeah, eventually. Eventually, eventually okay. it'll be on the SOC. Yeah, eventually that ha uh, we expect that to happen. Again, it depends on the use case. Um, the use case of you know, taking a phone, connecting it, and then connecting to a TV, uh, we'll see how users react. Uh, again, depending on the application. Like if you have a docking station and you want to use it as a co computer using Continuum, or Android as a desktop, that's very useful. But beyond that, we'll see what kind of use cases come up to, uh, out of the market uh, for mobile devices. But again, the, the technology is there to take advantage of such use cases if necessary. Maybe every uh, Type-C uh, phone could have Display Link together with you, right? And maybe well, then you would have a decoder on the, on the dock. Display Link, again, is a, uh, a, a, a converter, right? It's converting yeah. USB data to HDMI. Yeah. So, again, that requires more power. Again, that requires another external chip uh, that costs more. As uh, a decoder chip. And an encoder chip. Well, an encoder, well, decoder, encoder you can do in software, yeah, right? Yeah, software, correct. Yeah. But again, that requires support on both sides. You have to change both sides, right? Yeah. So that's the whole point. Whereas, again, HDMI over USB Type-C alternate mode, only the source needs to change by, uh, if they're including Type-C connectors, the displays don't change. All existing displays work as is. Whereas if you had other technologies, you either need a converter to convert to HDMI, or both have to support the native uh, protocol uh, that are supported out there. The third and the, party. the latest USB uh, Type-C spec is a 3.1, right? Uh, so if you have a dock with the four USB ports, you can connect hard drives. They could all, in theory, speak together. At the same time, do HDMI of a Type-C. Correct. I mean, it's theoretically possible. Again, it depends on the design of the dock that you mentioned, but again, all that's possible depending on the design of the, uh, the product. And how soon are we going to see this happen everywhere? Uh, fairly soon, again, we now? don't have dates. Uh, it depends on the manufacturers. Again, manufacturers decide when they <coughs> want to announce and release. We don't talk about other manufacturers' uh, schedules, but if you talk to the individual manufacturers and ask them about their plans for HDMI over USB Type-C, they should be able to tell you uh, about a rough timeline for themselves. So probably that the camera makers might be very excited about this to make it simpler, yes. just to type Absolutely. C and do everything. Absolutely. And but they need a special cable if they want to charge. 
not really special. Yeah. I mean, cables already exist. Ah, you could have right? one, one cable for charging and another yeah. cable for output, but if you want to do well, both... You can, you can do both using this one cable, right? Just one cable, yeah, yeah, with that one, Just one, one yeah. cable, right? So we have this prototype shown here, but a, a manufacturer can bundle that or sell that as an accessory uh, and ha be able to do both. And there's Maybe no reason why can you, you have a special there. cable that, because sometimes they might not get enough power from this USB to charge. Sometimes well, the cameras need very fast charge. Yeah, then you would plug this into a, a, a more capable power adapter, right? So, right. Because again, it's a, it's a, it could be a, depending. Again, this is a prototype, but depending on the design of the cable, you can have many options how it's powered. Uh, you can yeah. use the existing power connector or uh, Type C is Type C has capability to support power. So. Again, it depends on the uh, design of the device. In theory, they could have special designs for cables that have two things going out. One goes in the wall and one goes to the TV. Again, many, many possibilities. Many right. possibilities. Uh, it depends on the manufacturer. Again, that's the beauty of HDMI over USB Type-C. It has a lot of flexibility. Uh, so the manufacturers can decide how they want to do it for their particular implementation.